that's our uh, rooster and his little flock he's got. They're really a good little flock. They're pretty. And rooster's a good bird. So. Through the, moving through the yard, doing what they do. Well, I thought I would start at the bottom of the hill and, and work our way up. Um, Mr. Rooster. This is a goji berry. It'll make um, an orange berry. It's very, very, very tart. But it's really, really high in like vitamin C. So, what do we got right next to this? We got a lot of that goji, goji berry. I like it. Um, this one is a plum tree. This is his first year, so we'll see how it does. I'm just pretty good. Underneath here is a, I'm not gonna open it up, but it's an olive tree. And it likes it to be a little warmer, so we keep that sack on there just to keep it a little warmer until uh, the temperatures raise up. Oof. Somebody dug this up pretty good. What is this one? This one called, jeez, I'm going to have to re redo that. I'll do that after this. Elderberry. Yeah, I got tore up. I reckon the chickens must have done it. Or a skunk or something. Hang on a second here. All right. So that was an elderberry. It still is. Uh, I had a shovel of dirt. Another goji. Excuse me. Goji berry. It's also called sea berry and wolf berry. But we got three or four over here, and then I got another one out in the pasture. The birds love them. Uh, chokeberry. Chokeberry jam is probably some of the best stuff. Chokeberry jam, yeah, it's probably some of the best stuff you'll ever have. Really good. A couple of dogs love it. Love hanging out with the dogs. Um, this is a blueberry. Nothing really happening yet. They come on a little later. This one's a honey locust, and uh, we kept it, or we got it to help put nitrogen into the ground. It'll collect, it pulls nitrogen into itself, and in and around it on the roots, will it'll store these little balls of like nitrogen, um, little nodes of nitrogen, and it helps the surrounding plants and stuff. So we got one here. And once this thing grows, I'm going to take some cuttings and have another one at the other end. But honey locust. It's really, it's a pretty tree. Raspberry. Just getting a few leaves on it there. And I don't, I can't remember what the hell this one's for, but we did get berries last year. So we'll just have to see how it happens this year. Fake. Fake did really good last year, as you can tell. We actually got figs off it. So. What else we got here? Chickens. Down here at the end, what is this one? This one didn't do very well last year. Black Cronia berry. I don't know, I got one little bud starting to grow there, so 
so hopefully it will take off. And go up to the next one. Mulberry. Yeah. Yep. Yep. It did good last year too. So many of these grew. We're in the ground for the first time last year. Actually, all of them were. What am I talking about? This is a spice berry. It's doing pretty good. Underneath there is another diff, uh, different type of blueberry, and it's it's growing, but I just it's covered in mulch at the moment. And then uh, another goji berry. We got a little one here, but it's fat, so we'll keep it going. This is the peach. This thing's doing great. So I pruned it, and I'm gonna follow the instructions of keeping the center part open, um, not letting anything grow into the middle and then um what i'll do is i'll bring these branches out so the canopy looks more like that but it's a nice tree really healthy but it's, it's kind of what's cracking at the moment just waiting for julia and the kids to come home so where's the goats they're there Roots. Bella, Sydney, Nutmeg, Bilberry, and Trouble down there at the far end. Someone was coming down the road right now, she'd be charging down the road. Especially if they're in our driveway, she'd be charging. Great job, brother. Don't get to tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> 